Hello, and welcome to Saturday Night Live. Today, we're going to be interviewing the minds behind the new school erupting in Kalonga Point, School of Kings. Now, we have Ricardo Manat. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Ricardo. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Well, that is well. Yeah. So, what was the influence behind this new school? Well, it was influenced by all those, you know, high-class schools in the Middle East, America, you know, that sort of things. Was it anything to do with lack of diversity? Yeah, today's school is just not very diverse. No sports, nothing unique. I mean, our school has a water sports program. You don't see that very much. So, exactly, where are you up to? We're, oh, well, we haven't started building yet, but we've got all our you know, prices calculated for that stuff. Now, on the topic of price, what is the budget? The budget's about 250 million. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, I know. Well, we're expecting big things. Now, on to my next topic. So, Ricardo, how is the school eco-friendly? Well, we only use wood that's been farmed for a purpose. You know, we don't use wood that's been cut out of forests like the Amazon. That is good. Yeah, it is. So, let me ask you, Ricardo, why did you choose Kalonga Point? It's such a small community. Well, I mean, it has one of the biggest closed waterways that we can find, and it's got a lot of trees, lots of room to build. That's good. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ricky, but I think we're out of time. Yeah, I think It's been great meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. You have a good day, sir. Yeah, you too. That and Saturday Night Live. Tune in next week for Hippo's Dancing. <laughs>